Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Islam Makachev versus Dustin Poirier, the absolute last chance for Dustin Poirier. Islam Makachev, 25 wins, one loss, minus 480 favorite, 32 years old, 5'10, 70 and a half inch reach. Fighting Dustin Poirier, 38 wins, eight losses, three and two in his last five fights, plus 360 underdog, 35 years old, 5'9 with a 73 inch reach, two and a half inch reach advantage for Dustin Poirier and before we start breaking it down and we start talking about it there's absolutely one advantage for both these guys grappling for Makachev obviously we've seen Poirier struggle with getting his back taken especially against like Oliveira, Khabib you know Islam I'm, he's going to get his back I would 100% assume he's going to at least once or twice probably twice because I don't think he finished him the very first time he gets him there but Poirier will absolutely have the advantage on the feet. Now, at distance, Makachev might be able to find a good shot and finish Poirier. But with Poirier's pressure, I would assume Poirier's going to be better. You know, again, that doesn't mean Makachev can't find a shot in there. But the better uh, better boxing combinations are going to be from Poirier. That's the reality. Now, at a distance, because of the good head kicks, the good straights... Poirier's going to have to be careful of, of just over committing or, you know, throwing his shots without like, setting them up because you don't want to make it too easy, easier to read. I can't think of the freaking word, but um, you don't want to telegraph what you're doing, you know, and Poirier, of course, will have to be careful of that. So, you know, looking at it, like I said, this is Poirier's last chance. Could retire with a win, could retire, you know, with a loss or whichever. He has 13 fin- t- total finishes in his career, or in first round finishes, 23 finishes overall. Has been finished six out of eight times in his career, and all of them have been in the UFC. Again, he's, his record in the UFC is 22 wins, seven losses, one no contest. Very interesting. Beat uh, Ben St. Denis. I know people didn't like that just because. It's been Washington. He's a lower ranked guy. He's undefeated, but he had staff. There's always some type of thing you can you can say you can come up with. Gaethje fight Poirier was winning. What happens? He gets caught with a head kick. So it's it goes same way. Fifteen finishes in the UFC. So it it, it it's again very plausible that Poirier will have the advantage on the feet. Now, you look at it, strikes land per minute 2.46 to 5.45, accuracy 60 to 51, absorbed is 1.27 to 4.36 for Poirier, defense is 61 to 53, takedown average for 15 minutes is 3.17 to 1.33, accuracy 60 to 36, takedown defense is 90 but 63, one submission average a fight and one point one about one and a half of Poirier. You know, Makachev is fighting Volkanovsky, Volkanovsky, Oliveira, Bobby Green on short notice, Dan Hooker. Besides Volkanovsky, Poirier's fighting Denise, Gaethje, Chandler, Oliveira, Connor. It's it's pretty damn equal in contenders. They are fighting in former champions. They are fighting Oliveira, and he did have success again in all of the Oliveira fight. Now, this one is a little tough because I think, again, if it's standing, I like Poirier. I think Poirier can get it done. I'm worried, especially with Makachev getting the back of Poirier. And unfortunately, I think he gets Poirier to overcommit, gets him tired a little bit. It'd be be a a, a third of the fourth round. And I think Makachev gets that finish. We've seen him ride out with Volkanovski in the fourth round with having his back. If he can get that area, he's in Poirier, you know, giving up that round. It, it, It makes the finish when I don't like Poirier in those back back positions don't like it i think makachev gets it done possible finish but it also could be a decision i think makachev gets it done but i'm rooting for poirier as always subscribe like comment peace